Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com, coming at you with a review of the newly released Ovo handles as part of Lantern Smith's launch of their Palm Grip 2.0s. I got a set of the beta handles several months ago, and I've had quite a while to play with them. I'm going to share my impressions of them, pros and cons, as well as some ideas for creative uses for them. Before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Emazing Lights, Flow Toys, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all on the web by following the links down in the description of this video. Now, on with the show. First, a little bit of background. Lantern Smith first launched their palm grip handles way back in 2012. I did a review of them along with my friend Teddy Petrosky, and we were both delighted to find that in the cold New York December, the soft and grippy palms saved our knuckles and made holding our poi a pleasure. Since then, it's not a stretch to say that palms have really taken the poi world by storm. They're available as handle options for most prop vendors, and their unique combination of grip and stretchiness have made them an ideal fit for poi of all different styles. They did have two major drawbacks, though. The first was that if your hands became wet, the palms became dangerously slippery. I had more than a few performances that led to either drops or a great deal of stress over whether or not I was going to be able to make my catches. The other major drawback was that while they were ideal for people who liked lightweight handles, the maximum weight you could dial in for them was still far short of many of the heavier handle options out there for people who like playing with either tether manipulations or color changes. The new generation of handles are meant to address both issues. The biggest change you're going to notice is that the new handles are made out of a completely different material. Rather than the silicone that the old palms were made of, the new handles are actually made out of the same material that they use for grip strips on toothbrushes. They've also replaced the old channels along the sides of the handles with six dimples that sit atop the crown of the handle. These all have a slightly rough surface to aid with maintaining grip on your hands. I did a test with some water on my hands and found that while the handle still felt a little slippery, that I wasn't as concerned about losing my grip as I was with the old style of handles. Keep a constant grip, and you should be more or less fine. So what about the weight issue? Well, this is where the new OVO handles come in. Lantern Smith now has its handles available in two different sizes. The Classic Palms, for those of us who like our handles small and light, and the new OVOs, which are roughly twice that size. The OVOs are roughly cone-shaped, with the dimples atop the crown drawn out into ovals. The cavity inside for adding weight is huge. You can easily fit 24 washers inside of them, roughly four times the capacity of the palms. This means that you can dial in a weight of anywhere between 27 grams and 75 grams. One of the target markets for these handles is those of us who've joined the Gunslinger Army in the past few years. I'm told Jonathan Alvarez had a role in developing and testing these handles, so they're dialed into his style of gunslinging. I'm pleased to report that the added weight on the handle really does do the job. They can be made close in weight to capsule handles while taking up about half the room. Spinning two poi one hand with them is... interesting. My hands are pretty big, and they're just on the very edge of what's comfortable for me. I can just barely fit them end to end in my palm, and I kind of have to grip them a little off angle if I'm going to do a pinky thumb grip like this. So first, let's talk pros. The first is absolutely the improved grip. This to me was the only count against the first generation of palms, and the grip here is totally improved. The second is that the new generation of handles are vastly more flexible in weight and size than the older generation. There's something here for the contact and juggling crowd who tend to like their handles light, as well as the gunslinger and glow stringing cloud who tend to like more evenly balanced ends. Now, cons. It should be said that in switching the materials the handles are made of, they're no longer as squishy or as flexible as the old palms. For people who are trying to put really big items through the handles, like thick rope or large light assemblies that usually stretch out palms, they are likely going to be a little bit more difficult to use. Second, because they're less squishy, they also have more of an impact than the last generation of handles. If you're practicing in the cold, they're going to be a little harder on the knuckles. Bear in mind, they're still not as hard as the injection molded rubber of PX3 handles, but it is something to keep in mind. One of the most exciting things about these new handles is the size of the cavity in them. One of those new emerging markets is for LED handles, or modifications for current handles to put LEDs inside of them. With the larger area inside the OVOs now available to third-party manufacturers, they can get around many of the engineering hurdles inherent in the smaller palms. Please note, this is something that Lantern Smith wants. If you're an entrepreneur that wants to find ways of putting lights inside of OVO handles, Lantern Smith isn't just saying yes, they're saying please do it. Palm Grips 2.0 are available for $5 a handle, and OVO handles are available for $5.50 a handle, both at lanternsmith.com. If you use the promo code DREXFACTOR with a zero instead of an O, you can also get a discount on your order there. Grab a pair and see what you think. Thanks so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please hit that like and subscribe button to help my channel grow. Special thanks to all of my awesome supporters on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please go to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks again, and peace.